Live from the Wynn Hotel in Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Magento Imagine 2018. Brought to you by Magento. Hey, welcome back to theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin, live at the Wynn Las Vegas at Magento Imagine 2018. We've had a really cool day here talking about lots of facets of commerce, e-commerce, and really talking about uh, commerce as a center of gravity around digital transformation. If you drink Coke like I do, you're going to be pretty excited to hear our next guest. We've got Todd Skidmore, the manager of e-commerce from Coca-Cola. Todd, Todd, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So I'm super thirsty now. There's probably <laughs> Coke bottles behind us. Yeah, exactly. So, so everybody knows the iconic Coca-Cola brand and the share of Coke um, branding that you guys have been using for a long time. As, the, as retail and as really as consumers, as we've really started to change the way that not just that we buy, but the experience that we want to have, I'd love to hear the journey that you guys are on at Coca-Cola to make a product that's been around for how long? Really personal. So talk to us about what the share of Coke journey is, and let's start with why you even started it. Perfect, um, yeah, so the campaign actually started, you know, really as, a, as an opportunity to connect with consumers in a more personal way, and it was an in-store campaign that started in Australia, actually, in 2011, and was hugely successful, so uh, it, it moved its way across the, the, the world and made it to the U.S. in 2014, and of course, and you can imagine the U.S. is being as big as it is, and we have, you know, the distribution and, and complexities in, in manufacturing, it took a few years to bring it, but it was hugely successful in 2014. But, of course, success breeds uh, you know, opportunities. And with that, people started going, well, I can't find my name on a bottle in the store. How can I get my name? Uh, posting on social media, et cetera, you know, which is you know, great exposure, but we had an opportunity. So when we brought the program back for the next summer, the campaign, in store as well, we also brought in our first foray into direct-to-consumer e-commerce, where you were able to go onto the site, personalize a bottle yourself, and get any name on a bottle. You know, you weren't restricted to what was in the store, or even if it was in the store and you couldn't find it, now you had an opportunity to, to bring that to life. So that, that's kind of been the journey, and that was three years ago when we launched uh, the site. And you know, now we've, you've, you know, we've gone from just basically selling one SKU, which was a Coke bottle, uh, you know, infinitely uh, customizable one SKU, but one SKU, to now we have over 6,000 SKUs on the site, including licensed merchandise, lots of different bottle options, all kinds of stuff. So really, you know, and the whole thing has been about you know, connecting with consumers, listening to what consumers want, and then bringing those experiences and, and the brand in a, in a really special and unique way. And that's, I love that you're, you're listening and taking that, that consumer feedback and identifying by doing so, I imagine using big data and analytics to then identify additional business models and revenue streams for Coca-Cola. Yeah, so a lot, the crazy thing is, you know, we, we started it and you know, the, the big thing was you can get your name on a bottle. Well then we started realizing by looking at the data that people were using it for weddings and, and events and, and all kinds of things and reunions and, and uh, graduation parties. And so being able to customize it and have it for an event like that brings really a, a, a special, you know, the Coca-Cola to, to those occasions, which is exactly what we want as a company is to be a part of, of the community and occasions like that. So be able to use that data to drive our, our products and also drive our marketing. So now we don't just talk about getting your name on a bottle, we talk about these occasions and you know, marketing. We have a whole wedding page, uh, you know, talking about weddings, et cetera, so. Wow, that's yeah. cool. So you guys are a award finalist here at Magento Imagine 2018 for the Imagine Excellence Awards in the Customer Insights category. And it's kind of parlaying with what you were just saying in terms of, of listening to customers, but also from a data-driven standpoint. You mentioned marketing, and I'm a marketer. and Marketing is now a science because there is so much data available, but as consumers, we want that, we want an experience, whether it's Coca-Cola or some other retailer, we want them to know enough about us to not steal our data, but right. to be able to, to deliver a, a, a seamless experience, regardless of channel, that's relevant to me as a person, as a human. Yep. And that's something that you guys will find out, I guess, tonight at the um, Yeah, we'll see what happens ceremony. tonight, but uh, yeah, so we definitely you know, try to use as much data as we can to inform 
where we're going to take the next program, uh, marketing campaign, et cetera. So, you know, it's, a, it's you know, listening to what, you know, people are buying or even saying in reviews, et cetera, so, yeah. So in terms of the, the Genesis down in Australia, and then brought it to the States as an in-store program, seasonal. Now you've launched, well a few years ago you've launched the, the online uh, direct-to-consumer, I imagine mobile, tablet, any way that they want to consume yep. it. Um, talk to us about opening up this channel, direct-to-consumer, and what that is helping Coca-Cola achieve from a business perspective. Well I think it's, another way to sort of, you know, certainly learn more about what our consumer wants, and we certainly get probably the best data that you can get on an e-commerce site than you get even compared to almost any other type of uh, platform or, or way we've had in the past. You know, we've had rewards programs in the past, which was also another way to get great consumer data, but this is one where you, you absolutely know if someone makes a purchase, they're making an investment in your brand, which means you know that data, that's a valuable customer, and that's a valuable consumer that you can then uh, understand that's the type of people that we want to you know, be associated with, market to, and have them be a part and connected to our brand. So. So, so the, the responsiveness to your consumers is quite clear. If we take a look at, you said 6,000 SKUs now? Yep. So, so it's, it's expanded beyond the, the actual Coca-Cola bottle, so many different opportunities. How are you using technology to help manage and track all these different SKUs and ensure that supply and demand is, is in sync? So, I mean, you know, we, we do the best we can. Well, you know, we are, I will be honest with you, we're a pretty scrappy bunch within Coca-Cola, and we, 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 we have an analytics, you know, team that, you know, or person, I should say, a team, person, uh, and, you know, we rely on that to pull, pull that data down and analyze it and take a look at, you know, what's happening. You know, we're, of course, you know, reviewing that and, and reacting to it as quickly as we can. I, I talked about an example uh, in my speaking session earlier today where um, we had a, at Coachella, there was a uh, Teen Vogue picked up a, a one, one of our um, outfits uh, and was taking, took a picture of a model there. It, it started trending on Instagram and we were able to, it was only offered in store, in our brick and mortar stores. We were able to get it up online within 24 hours wow. so we could start reacting. So that, of course that just happened days ago. So right. we're really trying to be progressive and, and fast and agile about reacting to what you know, consumers are interested in. Because they were on Instagram going, uh, hey, where can I buy this, et cetera. You know, and so being able to sort of react and do those things uh, it, you know, is, is exciting. Absolutely. One of the things that I find interesting, and we've, we've talked a lot about this today with our guests, is, is the, the conveniences that we expect as consumers, right? We want to be able to go to any device, wherever we are, and buy whatever we want. Right. And expect that it's going to show up in a little brown box on the doorstep two days later. How are you seeing uh, trends in the consumer space um, spill into the corporate space? Um, so, maybe, may, reword that again, so I, I'm so you, So you're selling to consumers and you're, you're doing a lot of pivoting, hey, they want this, they oh, want okay. that. Okay, so like corporate orders. But now, exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, really, we all know that like the whole business world and the person, everybody's lives are, are, are coming together. It's not, you know, it used to be traditional, it was like work was my work and personal was my personal, right. that's not the case anymore. And also with e-commerce sites, you know, B2B sites now are becoming more like D2C sites. They look, they're, they're, they're more, they, they look more, people yes. are expecting much Expectation, more. Expectation, exactly. Expectations are much higher from what you're going to deliver on a B2B site. Um, so I think all these worlds are sort of merging and I think from a corporate perspective, an, an opportunity, you know, they see an opportunity with, with a Coca-Cola brand and we want to be able to deliver that, you know, on the corporate side as well, so. So is that business growing then in terms of companies coming to the website to, like you see with, uh, you said weddings and other occasions, is, is corporate buyers now kind of at that level? Yeah, so we even have like hotels buying uh, for events uh, on, our, on our site now, so we have some relationships there that, uh, 
we've tapped into. So uh, with you know, and which is the great thing about Coca-Cola is we have all these partnerships with you know uh, properties, entertainment, et cetera, and we try and bring all those things. You know, that's been a big focus of mine is is taking advantage of the things that Coke already has in place and bringing them to a new new way and a new way to cons you know sort of participate in those partnerships uh, via the bottles, basically. So the website is by. Well, it's you can go to CokeStore.com. That's okay, the easiest Coke way. Yeah, com. yeah, or ShareCoke.com. Yeah. So and and I, you know, the reason we've sort of moved to the CokeStore.com, you know, think about it. We started. It was kind of a program to begin with. Now ShareCoke is just a piece of you know sort of an overall you know direct to consumer offering that we have. So. So exciting opportunity tonight with being a finalist with this award. What are some of the things that you're looking forward to as 2018 continues in terms of? Um, maybe some of the next iterations of products or opportunities based on what you're hearing from your consumers. Yeah, I think you know, the next year or so is really going to be interesting in what, you know, where we go in terms of direct-to-consumer and, and what, what things we can you know, push into further. Uh, I mean, we know we've got a really good solid, uh, you know, and we know that we need to be able to offer something that is special and unique. So we will continue to follow that path of, you know, we're not going to try and compete in selling something that you can get everywhere else. It, it just doesn't make sense. But we want to be able to offer things that we can truly offer that, that are unique from what you can get elsewhere. And continue that personalization and that'll be and dri that yeah, that'll be Yeah, th that'll be driving our roadmap forward will always be, you know, unique, special, personal, exactly. Awesome, well Todd, thanks so much for stopping by and sharing about Share a Coke. Yeah. Now I know where to go to order bottles since you didn't bring me bottles that say Lisa I on them. I should have brought you a That's bottle, okay. yes. Next time. Yep, all right, perfect, thanks. Thanks so much again for your insight, really all interesting right, thanks conversation. thanks for having me. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin, live at Magento Imagine 2018. I'm going to go get myself a Coke. I'll be right back with my next guest, see you then.